Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights and happy December. Yay, we did it. Um, as you can see, I've got everything set up for you all now. So as a pagan, I change your backdrop every six weeks for things that are, uh, will be to do with the new festivals. Um, so this is all to do with Yule. You've got the stag over here. Um, obviously you have a Yule log um, and you've got the candles coming out of it. So I hope you like the little bit of backdrop. Well, we've also got the, the, the reefs and the bells going on. So I hope you enjoyed the backdrop a little bit and I really hope you enjoyed that reading with Yasmin last week. So I'm um, just going to put a little bit of a video on from her right now just to say the winner of the competition. Uh, so enjoy. Hi guys, it's Yasmin here. Um, first of all, thank you very much for all your lovely comments on Ali's page regarding the reading we did last week. Um, and thank you for your lovely comments on the decks as well. Um, so announcing the winner of the Tarot of the Enchanted Soul deck, the number that we had chosen was number 64. Um, so if you are the winner of the deck, then please get in touch with Ali and she will pass you on for the details as to how to get the deck from me. So thank you very much and bye. Okay, guys, welcome back and well done to the winner. I really hope. Um, okay, shit. Okay guys, welcome back. So the winner, could you please uh, drop me a message at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com or over on Instagram, which is just mysticlovetarot and we will get this deck shipped out to you. So many, many congratulations from both me and from Yasmin also. So what we're going to be doing today is what are their current feelings and intentions for you? It's quite an interesting reading that we're going for today. Spirit, Goddess said, yeah, this is the kind of reading that we need to go for. I want to look at their emotions because we spent a bit of time looking at their thoughts recently. So let's go into their emotions and their intentions. So this one is deck number one and this one is deck number two. Deck number one is the Slow Tarot. Um, I really, really love this deck. I've had it years um, and it, it got imported, I think, from America. Um, but it is a, such, such a beautiful deck, one of my favourites. And then this one got gifted to me at the Tarot Conference. And this one's the Witch's Garden, which is just fully apt. She bought it and then she was like, I want you to have this deck. So um, really, really sweet of her. Right, number one, number two. Let's go. So what are their feelings and intentions? So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, and you are unsure how I work, I work on a collective energy for you guys. Um, and it doesn't matter when you watch it, all videos are timeless, because as psychics, we can delve into the past, present, and future. And that's how we work. Can you believe it? Um, I'm Claire Audient, which means I hear spirit. They talk to me as if me and you are having a conversation, which means sometimes I can go a little bit like spacey, because I'm hearing many people talking through different ears, and you are talking to me as well so sometimes it can get a little bit spacey um but that is the way the clear audience works so the collective energy between you and the person that you're asking about is what we're doing today so what are their current feelings for you what are the people that are asking about what are their current feelings of their person okay what are their current feelings okay so what I'm getting first and foremost is the song, and I think it was by Aqua. So I'm going back. It's not Barbie Girl. Don't panic. If we were going back in time now, and it's saying, if only I could turn back time. Um, if only I could turn back time. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible singer, but that's what is coming through my right ear. So your person is kind of thinking back of stuff that has happened in the past uh, with regard to their feelings and wishing that they could perhaps have changed things, have done things differently. Um, was it Aqua or was it, I wonder, maybe it was Celine Dion, the one that says, if only I could turn back time. Um, and what are their intentions next? What are their next steps? What are their intentions for those watching? One. Mm, interesting. Two. Oh, even more interesting. Three. Okay, guys. So let's start at the very beginning. We've already had that song about turning back time. So this is talking about their actions and perhaps they haven't handled situations as well as they could have or should have. <laughs> Spirit just said, or should have. They haven't handled things in a very good way and it has left you feeling very unsure where you're standing and what ground, you know, what ground you're standing on. Spirit saying you're on shaky ground, you're unsure what direction you're going and what's meant to happen next, all of that kind of jazz. So in their feelings for you, you've got the Hierophant coming up first, which is extremely interesting. So the Hierophant is talking kind of about spiritual connections and truths. So 
you guys are likely to have quite a spiritual connection, okay? And it's likely to be a higher vibrational connection. So you could be that you've got your soulmates with a F-ton load of karma. It could be that your higher vibrations, soulmates, you know, that, that, that essence coming down. It could be that you're twin flames. Whatever you want to label your connection as, it is a spiritual and more divine connection. And with this card coming in about the truth, it's talking that your person is realising the truth of the connection and that they are seeing this connection in a very spiritual light, okay? So their feelings have kind of took a little bit of a, a, a battering, so to speak, for a say. They've had this little bit of an upturn in their emotions and they're like, well, hold on a second. Everything was going this way and now it's going this way. Now, what's quite interesting over here is at the bottom, you've got pigeons and in the middle, you've got doves. Now, doves kind of rule the goddess Aphrodite. She works with doves. So there is definitely a love connection going on between the two of you but there are times that perhaps you felt more like a pigeon and my dad always said to me some days you will be the pigeon some days you'll be the statue and it's kind of that energy coming forward that your person is like in this kind of feeling a little bit sorry for themselves or they're like yeah I'm victorious today and there is this love connection going on so you've got this kind of mixed up energy happening with the two of you your person is a little bit unsure um, of what's going on, other than the fact that it's a spiritual connection, there is love, but they're not really sure where they're going with it because of the pigeons. So that's your person's first emotions for you. The next one that is coming up is the Queen of Wands. Uh, me and Yaz were talking the other day um, on the reading that we did for you, and we were saying that Queen of Wands is actually probably one of, she's, she's the hot queen, she's fun, she's flamboyant she's excited she's passionate she's sexual she is an embodiment of the divine feminine energy and they were never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel we always work with cards we'll always work with male and female energy so this will be you guys watching this energy and how your person is feeling about you so they are seeing you in a very sexual light we've also got a chameleon going on in the foot so you've got this kind of changing energy that you're quite adaptable um and no matter what they've done or how they've thrown things at you or perhaps how life has thrown at you um they've seen that you have this great adaptability which i absolutely love you're in your power you're in your strength and you're actually quite grounded with regard to this situation. So they are seeing you in this very sexual light. Their emotions are quite sexual towards you, but you've also got this kind of like, I really like you because I can see that you're grounded and you're stable and no matter what life throws at you, you are resilient. So you have this inner strength within you and your person acknowledges that. Now, sometimes that can make them fearful because like we said with the pigeons over here, they go into this state of, oh, you know what? I feel like I am the statue today and all the pigeons are sitting on me and, you know, doing their business. So, but you got you, you watching, have this resilience. It's like, well, even if I am the statue today, I am this powerful energy and I am adaptable and I am going to overcome any battle that's thrown at me. So they have got these emotions towards you, which show this kind of an admiration, this passion, this admiration for you. We also have with the Queen of Wands a sexual energy as well. So there is a very strong chemistry between the two of you that is very solar plexus um, and sacral chakra ruled. Um, so with the sacral chakra kind of coming in, this talks of sex. It talks of liquids within your body. Um, so the Queen of Wands are also kind of navigating the liquid side of things that there is sexual passions and intercourses kind of coming up to have that intimacy with you. Now, the last card that's coming up in their emotions is the Seven of Cups. This is talking about choices and confusion. So your person is a little bit lost on how to navigate this with their emotions. They've probably never had emotions like this for someone before. Um, it is this very strong emotional energy kind of coming in. Their emotions are a little bit everywhere and they don't know how to navigate it. And so if you're getting hot and cold, you're getting ghosted, you're getting a bit here and a bit there. It's because their emotions for you are really kind of the raw and they're vulnerable and they're delicate and I just got to tell you this on delicate um you know this ain't for the best and my reputation has never been worse but you must like me for me and that is what your person is feeling about you you like them for you for them as who they are as a person and it kind of overwhelms them a little bit on occasions so from those emotions we go on to their intentions now their intentions are very very interesting because you have the page of um sorry you have the queen of pants then you have the tower oh my goodness and then the other side you have the page of wands so tower right in the middle talking about things falling apart around them your person um 
So what Spirit said to me then was to love an awakened woman or man is to live with your soul on fire. And that's the energy that is coming up here. Now, I've spoken to you guys about towers before. You either have big T towers or little T towers. A tower is when shit hits the fan, everything goes wrong, and it has to kind of fall down around you to be rebuilt back up. And this is where your person's emotions are going. So over here, you know, in the feelings, you've got the spiritual truth, and it is leading to the domino effect of one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And they are choosing to live with their soul on fire at the moment. They are going through this kind of mass awakening, this waking up where, you know, they perhaps can't do the normal, like where they're trying to fit into society. They're feeling that they can't do that anymore. So you really have this massive spiritual awakening going on with your person. They might be going through the kind of more awakening stuff like health issues or loss of love, like potentially you guys feeling like they've been abandoned. You've got stuff from their childhood coming up. Anything that needs clearing is showing itself right here, right now of your person's intentions towards you. So they have got to shed the old to bring in the new. And this is where the new comes in, which is you guys so their intentions towards you is the page of wands and the queen of um pentacles so the queen of pentacles is your energy it is that divine feminine again never such the orientation gender specific but we're working with the female energy over here so you have this um mother energy you also have the hairs which always symbolize fertility and if you can see my beautiful uh thing from the goddess temple painting we have the hairs on here it stands for leafa um which is the spring you know so where I think we are still kind of going for these darkest nights but when we get to Yule when we get to the 21st of December the light starts to come back in again so after December 21st your person is probably going to start making more moves towards you more pragmatic moves per se more pragmatic moves towards you um based on the love that you share and the, the potential that there can be a future with you so you have this abundant energy coming in and with the page of wands that's what this is them reaching out to you dropping you a message and kind of throwing their creative energy on you and saying well you know what actually this relationship has got really good potential and shall we just see what happens shall we just see where it goes i'm kind of interested in seeing what happens between the two of us so that is the potential between the two of you. Now, some of you guys, again, might get a little bit more smutty, a little bit more sexual um, emotions kind of communicated with you. Sometimes your person isn't going to be very good at talking about their emotions. Again, with the Hierophant over here, they might not be very good about talking about the emotions. So they could go down a more sexual route towards you. But either way, those messages will come in and they are at the very cusp of these kind of new beginnings. And again, it fits in beautifully with Letha. Um, it fits in beautifully with the spring, March March 21st. So you've got this beautiful energy that between you and March 21st, your person is going to be making this headway towards you and these moves towards you um, based on these emotions, based on the fact that they can see a future of you. It's just got to fall around down around them first. So when they do reach out, you might find that perhaps um, they're going to be talking about how shit life has been and how difficult it has been. So just make sure that you're putting a general level of protection around you. Uh, you can visualise visualize yourself in a mirror and um, so that any energy comes towards you, you can rebound back out. It won't cause any effect or harm to anyone else. It's just that you're putting yourself in that light. The other side of things is you could get a hematite crystal. Let me show you this one here because it just hangs on my frame. This was my divorce crystal um, <laughs> when I was getting divorced. Um, so this crystal kind of linked in and it, it pushes any energy that comes towards you. Again, you can see it rebounding back to the person. So um, it's just a basic level of protection that you can put around yourself. It's chunking that one. It's like that big when you wear it. It's like really, really big. Um, but, you know, just putting that on for you, on you, if you're feeling like they're getting a little bit too or you're getting a little bit too empathic with their needs and you're feeling it from a very soul hurting level because they will be talking to you about their emotions and what they've been going through. So just be aware of that. So overall, really interesting cards. I'm actually really fascinated by that. And if you need me for um, same day return on readings, yes, I said it, same day return on readings. I am doing voice note readings on Instagram today. Um, so you can just drop me a message. It's £10 per question. Um, so just drop me a message on Instagram, Mystic Love Tarot. Um, check out the podcast if you haven't already. I really want to kind of grow the podcast and I know it's growing quite well on Spotify and iTunes. Um, and I understand that app, um, YouTube podcast is a bit different because obviously we don't really have a video. You don't see our faces. Um, but I'm kind of up for a bit of growth on that. So if you do want your free weekly um, tarot and astrology reading, go check it out. It's Mystical Moon Day Musings. Um, massive tongue twister of a name but moon, it started off as moon day musings because we were musing every monday like we were getting our thoughts on paper every monday 
and Monday's ruled by the moon, so it was moon day musings. Um, and then we saw someone else have moon day musings, and we were like, well, I run Mystic Love Tarot, so we're going to just do mystical moon day musings. But it is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> i got to say it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, I've also got some other things coming up that I'm really hoping you guys are going to be interested in, but I'll save that for a later date. Um, lots of fun and exciting activities going on in Mystic Love Tarot and in my world. Um, just another one more thing before I leave deck number one is Witches Magazine is coming out, I believe, around 14th of December. And I have got an article in this one. Um, I'm also going to have another article in the spring edition of Witches Magazine. Um, so if you haven't looked at it or you want to look at it, um, I will let you know when it comes out. But it's a super good article, even if I say so myself. Written by Goddess. You know, I kind of just channel the energy. Um, written by Goddess directly to you about how the magician tarot card can alchemize magic into your life with basic magic abilities and basic magic tips and tricks that you can use. So it's quite cool. Um, and then the spring one, we'll talk about that another day. So I'll keep you posted. All right, guys, love you lots. Let's do deck number two. Okay, my loves, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I just did a few updates at the end of Mr. Love Tarot. Well done to the winner of the free deck competition that me and Yaz did last week. And I'm really happy that you enjoyed the reading. Um, bit of a special for you. And I have got a few more special things coming up uh, for you guys. So just stay in the loop, subscribe, and we'll, we'll, uh, I will keep you posted. I always say we, because my guys are like really in my ears. So what we're doing today are, what are your person's feelings and your intentions? So we work on a collective energy between you all. Um, but if you want to look at individual readings, I am doing the same day return voice note readings today for £10 a question. Um, I also have spaces for video readings. And if there is any magic that you guys are interested in and um, that I can help you with, just give me a shout. Mystic Love Tarot on Instagram. And my name's Ali, by the way. I don't know if newbies don't know that. My name is Ali Jeffcott. I got like, I had a divorce. When I got divorced, like, I really didn't... I, preferred changing my surname when I was like getting um when I got married I was like yay finally Jeff got scarred it's such a horrible surname <laughs> and then I got married and then I was like I could not work get rid of not get rid red I could not get rid of my married name quick enough and go back to Jeff Cott. and now it's like my maiden name and I can change it again but I'm like kind of just sticking with Jeff Cott because um, it's it's pretty neat and there is only one of me I don't believe there are many Ali Jeff Cots in this world okay those are their feelings. Ooh, okay. And what are their intentions? So I'm getting the song um, by, I want to say it was by James Arthur, who is a terrible singer. And I'm pretty, well, he's probably not a terrible singer, but his music's pretty terrible. Um, and I believe he is English. And like, you know, mine is like Ozzy Osbourne. Um, and you know, slash, slash, being born uh, in the city that I live. Um, <laughs> England has, a, I can't say we've got had the most amazing singers in history, but that could be a very sweeping statement and me just not knowing my facts. <laughs> um, anyway, James Arthur, Say You Won't Let Go, is what I'm getting. Their intentions, what are their intentions? So you guys are probably feeling a bit like S-H-I-T. You're probably feeling pretty crappy at this moment in time and you've been going through a lot of your person. So you guys might not be in contact or it might be sporadic contact or it might be that you've not spoken to them for a while. Either way, there feels to be a distance between the two of you. Now, some of you guys might say, well, actually, you know what? We live on opposite ends or we live in different countries. So that would be the distance we're talking about. But the, uh, the rest of you, you're going to feel as if your person's pulled away, pulling away, or that there's just this kind of distance going on between the two of you and I just saw um in England we had silly putty which was like a kid's mm -mm. Play-Doh. I don't know if you have it in different countries. Um, and you could just kind of push it in whatever direction you want but when you pulled it like that it became really gloopy and it came really kind of sticky and I've just got the song I'm sticking with you because I'm made out of glue. So even though your person has disappeared or is kind of a bit MIA at the moment there is still this bond and connection between the two of you. You are still kind of energetically entwined with each other, which is going to be confusing you even more because you're probably getting a lot of intuitive thoughts. You're probably getting this form of telepathy, communication, kind of coming through your mind from the higher dimensions, through, from spirit, through spirit, to spirit. You're probably getting all of that coming into your energy and you're, you guys are going to be feeling a little bit lost on the connection. So let's break it down a little bit. Let's go into their feelings. So you've got, let me show you guys, for those of you who read tarot, Knight of Pence. Here he is. Death. 
and six of swords do not panic my loves don't panic okay so six of swords your person has took a step back from the situation at this point in time they are really just kind of focusing on themselves and there is this kind of indicator indic oh, I can never say this indicator of travel coming up so again could be traveling away from the situation it could be that they're involved in physical travel could be travel to do with work but either way, there is this kind of space away from you guys. They've left the situation as it is and they've just kind of took a bit of a wonder. And they kind of, they haven't spoken to you about it. I don't feel they've communicated what's going on. So you guys are going to be feeling like you're left out in the dark, left out in the cold, unsure what pathway is happening or what direction you're going in because you haven't had the answers. Now, the positive side of this is that the door is still open, okay? Because even though they've just vanished into the sunset, they, or even if they've said something and gone, they've left the door open to return back to you which is where the knight of pence comes in so there is a returning of their energy in their emotions but for now with the death card they're letting it lie okay so they're letting the situation lie um so, and they can return back to you that's where their feelings and their emotions are so they're like i'm just going to give it a little bit of time and i'll drop a message later down the line that's what they're feeling at this point now the reason why i went really quiet because i was trying to fit in like how spirit said say you won't let go at the very start and i'm sticking with you because i'm made out of glue and what spirit is saying with this is kind of this separation energy is an illusion and i know that's extremely hard for um the kind of muggle mind to get our heads around when you're feeling in the muggle mode and you're like hold on a second i don't get it they have to disappeared why is separation an illusion but what this means is that you can actually breach the borders you can breach the thresholds between worlds and you can still communicate with your person communicate your wishes and desires and wants you can speak with them if you kind of breach the gap of of the energy sparseness between the two of you so it's going to be about trusting your intuition on this, okay? Your person is just handling the situation in a pretty cruddy way by not communicating their emotions or feelings. And what they've done is just took a step back from it. So when we're looking at their emotions for you, it's like, well, I'm just in this pure level of avoidance at the moment, but I will reach out to them at some point in the future. Um, they are going through a bit of transformation themselves, Okay, this transformation energy is really, really happening. There's also an element of grief going on with them. So it could be as well that they're going through like mega shit at the moment and they just haven't got the capacity or energy to uh, be with you at the same time, to work with your energy. You've got that kind of sparseness that's coming from it. But again, you have messages coming through because you can see on here this little girl is offering the groom a pumpkin and we know the knight of pentacles this is slow and steady movement it's movement back towards you and um, we've got kind of like a water buffalo on this as well or it is just a buffalo that has the moss and evergreen on it um you know there can be the signs of irritation and aggravation so your person could be feeling a little bit grumpy over the situation at the moment um so they just basically took a step back it doesn't mean there aren't feelings just means that they're kind of just yeah well let's just wait and see how it all unfurls the evergreen on this is like the love connection isn't gonna die between the two of you it will still be there and i feel like a lot of you guys have been through this cycle before and because you've been through it before you can go it will just kind of keep repeating and it's where that that helix comes in you know we speak of the helix um of the kind of more divine connections when you pull away and you come back and you pull away and you come back and that is what's kind of coming up here as well um so even if it is gone away like this it will rebound I just got this song. Oh my god, this is going to be really embarrassing. Um, I got the song that said "Bam for the bam, bam for the reload." <laughs> and again, talking about British music being crap, I can't remember who sang that. I was a kid when it came out. Bam for the bam, bam for the reload. <laughs> And then it used to go, um, there was a, a siren in the background. Anyway, if you look for Bound for the Reload, you can hear that. Intentions. Right. Definitely still watching you on social media. Communication that will happen is most likely to be through social media. So it's probably going to start off in, in the sparseness that is you guys at the moment start off with a message or a like or a story hearting. It's going to be something that they are just going to kind of, I'm here and I'm still watching you. Four of Pentacles, they're still clinging on to the situation. They're still holding tight. And they are also, with the Three of Swords, was the Three of Swords, feeling this sense of heartbreak and pain. Um, and even though they've kind of done it to themselves, there is going to be this regret and remorse that comes from it. So they're probably not feeling that regretful and remorseful at the moment because they're like, I'm just stepping away from this. But further down the line, as this situation plays out, they are going to be feeling crappy. Um, and you might, even that, some of you guys, potentially might get an I'm sorry. 
that would be neat wouldn't it um crows kind of stimulating this reading crows ravens absolutely one of my favorite uh animals or, or birds uh, working with a deity the morrigan and she is a celtic goddess of war um and <laughs> so you know don't feel weak in this situation you have got your power you have power over this situation even though you might not feel it at this point in time okay your person is feeling sad about this and their intentions are to get back in touch with you it's just not yet. There's just delays on it. And if you want to look at this individually and get individual timings, I am doing same day of eternal voice note readings and they're only £10 a question on Mystic Love Tarot. Um, so, I'm um, sorry, on Mystic Love Tarot's Instagram. So just go over and find me, send me a follow and make sure you subscribe on here. And if you want more details, I have video reading spaces as well. Just let me know. Lots of love, guys. Have a totally blessed week and yay to the winner of Yasmin's deck. I'll speak to you later. Many, many blessings.